No, yeah, I, I I can read the lines, just like... Well, how is anybody gonna know it's me? Alright, fine. Uh, previously on Roleplay Radio, I'm Ricard. Hi. Can I help you? I saw that you have some of the books for the required first year classes, and I was looking for a study buddy. Sure. Your voice sounds very familiar. Um, I'm goth. Rampart. Rampart Suvich. See you tomorrow, Rampart. Garth. <laughs> this is my tower. No. And the room number. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> right, we should, be, we should be going now. I uh, uh, really like your red hair. <laughs> uh, mistake, C- can you hold up a second? Professor Zafai wants me to help him to revamp the Lilith myth. I was realizing that I'm more of like a, a songwriter than a writer writer, and I realized that you really like books. Do you think you could help me with the writing part? I, I can... Try, I've never written a book though. It can't be that much more difficult than reading one, right? <laughs> What's up, uh, Goss? You know how I've been working on the retelling of Lilith? Yeah, I've heard you talk about it. Professor Zafai is very interested in mapping one of the characters onto being a burning hammer. It would be a lot less uncomfortable for me if it was you playing it as opposed to anybody else. Uh, and I was just wondering if you were interested at all in auditioning. In order to uh, bring my vision to life, we need an artificer to help. I want to blow their minds by showing them what we can do with practical effects. No magic whatsoever. Okay. Instead of using fly, for example, or levitate, I want an actual contraption that will pull the actors up into the air, make them look like they're flying. I'm talking, I want the audience to cast detect magic on this shit, and I want them to not sense a fucking thing. You know, I might know a person. So, the following week, I want to know how tense it is around the tower. How does this this affect... I have a question. Yeah? Griff has not forgotten that it was Fane who allowed these people in. Oh, yeah. How often has he gone to work? Oh, okay. As Mm -hmm. as for the house tension, Griff is going to try to stay out of the way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Would this mean that Griff is dropping out of the play? because he doesn't want to be around them? Or, like, how do you feel? Griff is not necessarily going out of his way to start conversations. If he's included, he's included. He's not going to talk about the show. He's going to go to rehearsals. He's going to memorize his lines. He's going to do what he's supposed to do. He's just going to go from being big to little, metaphorically. Okay. He's going through the motions. Because you were, you, you committed to this last session, and last session took place over several days, I'm gonna say that this takes up a lot of your time, that maybe there was an exception made with your work schedule, and uh, you took some time off of work to be in this place, so therefore you don't have a shift until later. So if you want to see Fane, you can certainly go, but it's not a thing that you'll just bump into him at work, because right now, you committed to a different project. Okay. He needs to deal with Fane, but he can't be like aggressive about it. So what if, what if he sent him, like, letters in the mail that are cut out letters from magazines that just said I know what you did. (laughs) That's beautiful. I love that. You could do that whenever in your tower. (laughs) Yeah, so so he he has made (laughs) out of the Strixhaven Star, just Yeah. (laughs) Out of the Strixhaven Star, he has made seven postcards, one for each day of the week. Ten. Ten. Right? One for every ten days of the ten day week. (laughs) Um, And no signature, I take it. Yeah. Just, just to very put him on edge. cryptic, beautiful. Just to put him on edge. I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> I love the idea of going through all the effort to cut out from the Strixhaven Star letters and then sign your name on the. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like no, no, I, I mostly <laughs> meant like anything that will give you off, but I, I yeah. assume no. I assume yeah, no, just... I didn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, just just enough to make him uneasy because he fucks around with a lot of people apparently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So, the following week, there's a lot of preparations being done for the play. The stage is being painted and dressed. Gary, you're helping out with uh, some of the practical effects. And on top of that, so that means that Koss is there, because Koss is a little bit of head honcho. This this play is kind of uh, 
Casas, is this the director, producer? What would that world be? Honestly, I have no idea because Professor Zafai is billed as the director, right, yeah. but you're the one that's really doing a ton of the work. I think it's producer. Producer, I think producer. Yeah. producer yeah. yeah. A writer over here. Uh -huh. uh, Props boy. Props boy. <laughs> and of course, leading antagonist. Actor. Yes. However, uh, today. Leading lion. The four of you make it to the to the roast stage, and uh, Shelly, you get your assignment for the day. Okay. You go to the Dragon Scarred base. I like to think that there's like a roster, you know, a list on the wall like every week for like, this is your assignment for the week. And there's Rampart standing there. Sees you. Shell! Puts a stump on your shoulder and looks at the roster. Shell. What's up, Rampart? Will you look at this? Are we working together? The Rose Stage. I can't say I'm a fan of dramatics, but it is beautiful, Shell. You and I will be partners today, yes? Yo! This is so <laughs> exciting! <laughs> we haven't gotten to work together since I made a fool of myself. Mm. I must say, Shell, you, uh, you were a bit impressive in uh, training yard. I was wrong about you. you. You do have what it takes to be dragon scarred. Oh, I'm glad you... I, I thought that you were... You, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bested me. No, no, you matched me. You did not best me. You matched me in strength. I can respect that. So what say you we start over? Set differences aside and do this one more time, yes? Shelly's gonna give a big hug and pick up Rampart in, in their arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heavy Lexicon. Can you uh, can you roll me a strength check, an athletics check? <laughs> that would be a 20-something. Ooh! Nice. Oh, it's just a 20. That's still really good. I just, I'm afraid of heights, thank you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cadet Shell, shall we? Let's do this. He holds out a stump. Shelly's going to transfer the stone from one head to the other and then hold the, the stump and <laughs> start frolicking. Uh, I was going for fist bump. Okay, you're dragging stump me. Bump. Okay. <laughs> I was going for a stump bump, but okay. <laughs> So they start frolicking towards me. <laughs> You're frolicking, he's just walking fast. <laughs> um, on the way. Shelly's the heaviest frolicker. Boom, boom, boom. On the way, uh, Rampart will decide to pick up flowers. Ooh. Uh, what? They're flowers. Yeah. Who are they for? Uh, th thank you very much. Here's five coppers. Uh, 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 someone, nobody. Oh, should I get flowers for someone but nobody? <laughs> if you, if you... All right, Shelly. Shh, shh, shh. Come here, come here. Say, come. Shell, have you ever had feelings for for someone? <laughs> oh, he's all. Uh, he's just you, all in. Have you just had feelings in general? Just any any. So if you felt any. <laughs> So he's like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, like, like how I love you, like, or like, uh... uh we, we are the work friends at best, <laughs> but... This. I mean, you understand, I just met you, and, and I didn't like your friends before. So. Oh, yeah, no, it's okay, I know. Um, I, but like, like, that's an example, like, also like how I love, like, Gary, and Koss, and Toby, and Xanther, and... Uh, a bit more deep, like, connection with someone, like, someone you study with, that perhaps... Oh, um, I have classes with Toby. And you and Swiftfoot have, uh, romantic attachment? <laughs> oh! Um, I, I, what's, what's that? <laughs> it's when you like someone more than just friend. Like a partner, a, a, mm, I'm getting very flustered here and my armor's too tight suddenly. We already did something like this with a lion in a tree and it got real weird. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> no, this is romance. That this is was romance. Sex. That was sex. That, that was, was life. Totally different. That was making life. This is <laughs> making love. <laughs> Shelly's Shelly's going to like be like, I don't know. And then they're gonna like put their head slightly in their shell and just like focus on their heart and be like, what have you felt? <laughs> And, and they're going to try and open it up, and they're just going to find that they're like, Ah, yes. I like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that is good for you. I, I, I like everybody, too. It's just some people I like more than others. And, <sighs> and then Shelly's going to be like, But you know, Xanther and Toby and Aurora and Koss... And Rosie. Earl. <laughs> and the Earl. <laughs> and Ricard. And Earl and Ricard. You know, I, I think I think I know what you're saying. Like, I wouldn't mind like holding hands with them and like Holding hands, yes. Like I sleep with Toby all the time. And it, um I, I and you know, I would I would I really think Xanther's pretty cute. He is cute, yes. Um <laughs> It's and I like it when Griff uh, tosses me around. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Except he doesn't really, I just imagine it. I had similar feelings for Xander once upon a time, but it developed into bromance and it, it got weird, so... I have set my... Besides, he set his sights elsewhere and I set my sights elsewhere. And... What did he set his sights on? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Oh. Shell, have you ever heard of Garth Garson? Oh, <laughs> as soon as you said it, it was so easy to study with, I was like, oh no. I, I imagine it's like... <laughs> this is too different. This is the best thing ever. I, I, uh, I imagine this, this conversation is happening as you're walking to the main stage. Can I, can I say that Gary's walking in with a prop? Sure. Yeah. And Shelly's gonna look at Gary and be like, Yes, I have met Garth. <laughs> Gary drops whatever prop he's carrying. <laughs> uh, Rampart like stands in front of Shelly so that Gary's behind Rampart and Shelly's like <laughs> <laughs> And she, Shelly's gonna like like give you a deadpan look to be like, stay there. <laughs> Before we go in, you must understand, Garth works uh, or is in play actors drama guild and this is very nerve-wracking. At first I was happy that I was assigned here, uh, but then I, now I'm very nervous. I don't get nervous, Shell. What is wrong with me? So let me get this straight. You want to hold hands with Garth, but Beautiful. more than when we were just holding hands as we were frolicking down the road. <laughs> Correct. I want to hold his pale, freckly hand and have dinner with him and stare at his beautiful face with his beautiful red hair. And, oh oh. Can Gary hear all of this? Perception check. Alright. <laughs> nope. nope. No! Oh, that's a four. <laughs> that is a four. I think he is proficient in perception, so it's plus three, but that's still only a seven. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you can. Nope. I, I mean, it makes a sense. He's got his back to you. So. And also, he's probably mending whatever the hell he just dropped. <laughs> yes, I do agree that Garth has very nice hands. <sighs> can you hear that? <laughs> if you're saying it loud enough, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that would hit the seven perception. I'll allow it, but I'll have Rampart be like, shh. <laughs> For goodness sake, Shell, have you no oh. chill? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then Shelly's gonna say, um, well, um, I can maybe help you out. Please do. If anything will do, however, do not out me, please. Oh, no, I... don't worry, don't worry. Great. I was thinking, are you too nervous to give the flowers to Garth directly? No. No, I want to, very oh, much. okay, okay. I just, um, what do I say? Oh. You know, what you just said to me, that that's that sounds really good. I just, I wish you had said it a little louder. Shh, let me write it down before I forget. Pale, freckly hand, <laughs> red hair, beautiful face, great. Uh, ooh, uh, 
connection. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, <laughs> um, how do you feel about like people dyeing their hair? <laughs> if they dye it red, I feel wonderful about it. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> now, show to business. And he puts the bouquet like as a corsage because he's so huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or not a corsage, a uh, what do you call it? A boutonniere. But boutonniere. boutonniere yeah, yeah. Over his uh, armor. He says, all right, Shell, all right, this is secondary. Work is first, okay? While we are here, we are Dragon Scarred, okay? We must look after everyone. We must protect everyone. We are Guardian. Say it with me. I am Guardian. I am Guardian. I am Protector. I am protector. I will watch every single soul in this place with my life. Shelly's gonna start like shooing under the hand at Gary. Who <laughs> 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 I guess just goes inside. <laughs> <laughs> and he just gives Shelly this look like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've accidentally seduced my arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's go inside. Great. Oh, one last thing. Uh, Sergeant Stuffless told me to give you this. I understand that you are turtle and this is all natural to you, but you must wear some kind of uniform. It's a cape. It's like a little cape. The pin is the Dragon's Guard logo. It just goes over your neck. And that's it. That's all he asks. He's like, will you wear? How big is it? It's, it's your size. Oh. I specifically requested very good material. Ooh. Shelly will feel it. It's very, um, it's like velvet almost. Oh, yeah. That's Amelia's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> May I? Yes, yes. And he pins it on you, he's like... <sighs> he's, he almost gets teary out, he's just like, you look great. Now, to protect and serve. To protect and serve. Stump and bump. <laughs> stump bump. And Shelly's gonna go for the stump bump of his life. Of her grandpart's life, that is. <laughs> and you head onto the rose stage. It might be a bit over overwhelming. There's a lot of play actors, drama guild people here, people uh, trying on their makeup and then their costumes. You're able to see all your friends, Shelly. You see Gary working on some props. Uh, Kassen mistake probably near Zaphai somewhere discussing things and uh, Griff on the stage. Second Gaffer, can we get more pink lighting for the scene number five uh, right on the left side of the stage? Yeah, oh. right. Sorry, I'm first Gaffer, my bad. Oh, I'm second Gaffer, I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> mistake, can you roll a performance check with advantage for that script? Oh boy. Since you had trauma, writing a tragedy shouldn't be so bad for you. You think. Yeah, two, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so one of them is a one. The other is a 12. That's just oh, one. Oh my god. So 14. that's a, that's a four, 14. This is better. This is a lot better mistake. A lot less talk of bodies and a lot more talk of politics and, and intrigue. I like it. I like it. Maybe a tiny bit cheesy, but you know, we can work on it. We still have a couple weeks. Good, good. Mistake is very, very tired. She has never even seen a play before. <laughs> <laughs> when would she have? Exactly. Um, the closest thing would be, you know, kids playing pretend as they're growing up kind of thing. Never an actual formal play. Mm -hmm. So I think she's spent a lot of the last week effectively not sleeping because she's studying her class, she's doing her job, she's going to fencing extracurricular, mm -hmm. going to normal classes, and getting all of these different plays from the scriptoria and studying those, and any time that she's not required to be elsewhere, if Gary's working, she's at the tavern. Hmm. Okay. Which she has been doing since, a, oh, since we know. the tavern fight. We know. <laughs> but now she's like very focused on making sure she's there. Yeah. <laughs> so is this just because the food is better then? No, so she started doing that initially because uh, the tavern was attacked. So she was like, well, I might as well be here in case it gets attacked again. Mm -hmm. And now the goblins came after Gary directly. So she's like, no, I'm definitely going to be there. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Badass. So, Badass. 
she's doing a lot of her attempted studying in the tavern, which probably doesn't go very well. Um, so she's very, very tired mm. and hasn't slept a whole lot in the last week. <laughs> it's okay. Exam number two will be after the winter break. <laughs> Gary. Yes. You have been working with Lo Shield. Yes. Uh, after school hours, you kind of show up for a little while and, and get some mentoring in, learn about different clockwork, gear work, and all that. Can you roll me a Tinker's Tools check with advantage for that? Uh, for how well you do with the uh, props. <laughs> Ooh. So 20 yep. plus. Five. Yeah, that's that's, that's nice. very very Thank good. You. In fact, Gary is strapped to the <laughs> to the suit and is testing out his own machine. And so they pull him up, and it does look like he's floating. The wire is small enough that uh, <laughs> you guys all just see Gary like hovering in the stage. Hi guys! <laughs> look at this! Look how cool this is! He's the one in the suit because he's too weak to actually lift someone yeah. else up. <laughs> You see Rampart walking below you like, Got it, Grieg? Hi, Rampart! Hey. Have you seen... Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you! Oh, um... Silver yes. Throat. Yes, what's up? Can I help you? I'm kind of in the middle of a lot of things right now. F -f Fine, sorry, I didn't... No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Okay, have you seen Garth Garson? Garth Garson? Yes, Garth Garson. Uh, no, should I have? Uh, never mind. Uh, you, you, uh... Shelly's gonna come over and be like, Don't don't worry, don't worry, Rampart. I, 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 I got you, okay? You, is that Burning Hammer? Burning Hammer! <laughs> burning Hammer! I think the stake doesn't know that Gary is Garth. Only Koss and Shelly know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Mistake has no idea who this person is. Burning Hammer, have you seen Garth Garson? I don't even know who that is. <sighs> nice flowers. Thanks. You think so? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. I have great taste. Ah, Shelly, Shell. This is not going well. No, no, it's okay. That rhymes. <laughs> Rampart, Rampart, Rampart. Listen to me, listen to me. Mm -hmm. I can go get Garth. You're supposed to be watching over people. You wear dragon skull. You are too, and you're just going around <laughs> harassing. I mean. Um, Excuse me. Look, they're trying to put on a play. You don't know how hard my friends have been working. They're actually kind of losing their minds about it. So, like, oh, it's best oh, if we just guard and don't do anything. But I can maybe go get guard. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I will stick by the professor and... Do you want me to get Garth now or at the end of the show so you can congratulate them on how good they did? Uh, show is not for like a week and a half. Oh, they are rehearsing. Really? Oh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Shelly's not in the play and I'm oh, that's, that's the totally attention. Cause the character. Cosmic thing would say over. <clears throat> yeah, the show would be a big flop if there was nobody in the stands by now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In that case, yeah, I'm just gonna go backstage real quick, and then Shelly's gonna look up at Gary and like, like, give the big stare again. <laughs> Gary gives another like, what do you want me to do? Look. And Shelly's gonna go back, like, just gonna hide behind the curtains or something. <laughs> so while well, Shelly is back there, uh, Koss will <laughs> ask Grandpa. So what are you looking for guard for? Um, it is personal reason. But I was maybe hoping to ask him out to drink, maybe at Bozen Tavern. All right, well that's the twenty-two that insights <laughs> <laughs> to, to get to get the subtext. Oh, he's got the hots for yeah. this person. Yeah. Ah, right. Um, I think that's a good luck. I have heard that this Garrett Grigg, spineless as he is, if you ask me, uh, he's a very good cook. So, you know, for a state, maybe. Possibly so. Um, tell you what, um, I'm gonna have a go have a word. I need to go have a word with my tech guy. All right. Very well. You're gonna hear Shelly shout, "Gary, get over here!" <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, somebody lower me down. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yep, All you right. got it. I'm following Gary back there. <laughs> <laughs> Safe is just going over the script kind of spaced out, and then looks up and is like, oh, Koss, what do you think of... Oh, wait, where did everyone go? <laughs> um, you just hear over your shoulder, 
That's not how you spell iridescent. Hi, it's Aurora. She uh, <laughs> she brought some of her instruments. She's also here because she's been working on the play with Cos. Uh, you know, I think I spelled it about four different ways throughout this entire thing. Do you need help? Oh, probably all I can get. I don't really know why I'm all people. I'm the one doing the writing for this. Mistake! <laughs> Mistake, let me get that scene, the one with Burning Hammer and, uh, and Lilith and the leading man, which we did find, by the way. Can I get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flip through them, grab that one section, try to pull it out as she does. Like, she pulls that section out to hand it to him, but the ones in her hand just kind of fall on the ground. <sighs> Come on, girl. These and then are the ones you want. I'll get the others. Thank you. And Aurora's just like, Professor, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Talk to you later. And he just goes away. And then Aurora's just smiling. And it's like, my uncle intimidated him into allowing me to uh, be able to join in the spring. <laughs> Freshmen are not allowed to join the band. Why? Well, Seems silly. I know. My uncle and I don't see eye to eye on everything, but sometimes he's cool. Well, that's something, I suppose. Yeah. Good to have someone looking out for you. Where are your friends? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, backstage. <laughs> Look, Gary. You gotta, you gotta let him down slowly, or you gotta, maybe if you like Rampart, I, he taught me I, that there's something called like liking somebody. I don't like like Rampart. I had no idea what that meant like okay. half an hour Glad ago. Glad we clarified that point. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm here too. <laughs> oh, hi, Cos. So either way, I'm thinking that you gotta transform. I don't know how the fuck you did that, but you gotta do it and then like gently <laughs> let him down. So... I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and given my reaction to everything that happened last week, I, I think I should come clean. I think that I need to stop being so much of a coward. Okay. I don't- I still don't know what happened last week, honestly. I- you guys gave me a brief synopsis, and then you guys just avoided me the whole week. Well, I mean, so Griff pushed a goblin up against the wall, kind of by his I neck, and then I stood the right there. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was the right time. Gary, I think that's a good idea. All right. Um, wish me luck, I guess. Wait, let me go back first. Let me go back first and just say, <laughs> just say, I'm gonna tell him that I'm gonna resume duties and that he should take a break now. Okay. Um. You, you go for that. Okay, Shelly's gonna go out. <laughs> you see Rampart writing a love note. Oh my god! Oh my god. So, Gary, I have actually been where you are right now before. I suppose I am not surprised by that. Uh, so what did you do? I didn't tell the person, and it ended very poorly. So I think that this is probably the best thing that you could do. Well, I guess it doesn't really seem like Rampart can dislike me more. So... E even if he does, you'll... It'll be better for yourself in the long run. And I think it's very brave what you're doing. Thank you. Uh... I guess I just... I feel bad. I didn't mean for it to turn out like this. I just wanted to borrow some books and then he was actually really nice to talk to. Yeah, it, it, you, you never actually do. But hey, and then Koss is going to paint red hair onto Gary as the mote of inspiration that is going to hover around Gary. Oh, boy. Um, when you, um, when you say it, you can dismiss that and... Yeah. Uh, well, this isn't going to be weird at all. Can Mistake be somewhat nearby? Because it sounds hilarious. Oh, yeah. 
to Absolutely. have zero context of this and just be sitting there trying to work on this script and overhear right. Gary break up with Rampart? There you go. You're in the audience. Yeah. Right there. With you still. Absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. I think Mistake's trying to like get some Aurora's feedback on mm -hmm. some things, like advice on how to fix some of the stuff Zafi pointed out. Mm -hmm. and... and you see um, Rampart there. He's no longer writing anything, but he's got the flowers in his hands and he's just muttering, rehearsing something as he's kind of pacing around that end of the roast stage, supposedly looking at everybody keeping guard, but he, you can tell his mind is elsewhere. Uh, hey, Rampart? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Looks sorry. up at you. <laughs> You're can on I, the stage, right? Yeah. Oh, so he's not on the he's stage? He's not on the stage. Can I talk to you for a second? What is this about, Krieg? I'm busy. Um, I, I realize we're not really friends, but despite that, I've been kind of a crappy friend to you. Uh, that, that wow, you've done some growth. Uh, I realize maybe I came across a bit too strongly in past when I got angry at you. You blew smoke in my face and also threatened me. Well, I did not realize you had baby lungs, okay? <laughs> this, this is not my fault, it's your genes. Okay, well that's not really my fault either. Uh, this isn't important, um... So... You want me to lift something heavy for you, okay? I'll no, that's not what it is. Uh... So you remember exams? The first round of exams, the ones we've taken? Oh, I aced that son of a bitch. Uh, same, actually. Uh, so, but I don't know if you're aware, I didn't really buy any of the books. I went to the Biblioplex to try and just read the books. Greg, <sighs> let me stop you right there. People are imperfect, Greg. Okay, I realize what I did was... Rampart, shitty. this isn't about you! And I know it is, it is, it is. No, no, it's definitely not. I, I know that you took all of the books that I needed and then didn't read them. And now you're them. rubbing it in my That's face. That's not... I, nope. You know what, Greg? I don't need this from you right now, okay? I am very, very distracted and I'm going away Wait, now. Rampart, no! Please, he walks please listen! Oh my god. <laughs> and Zafai's just like, Props, boy! What are you doing? Ah, uh, something important! Yeah, well, this play is hella important too, okay? Uh, this probably is more important, so he's gonna follow oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God damn it, Cars, what the hell did you bring me? <laughs> Why is this my fault? Uh, Rampart, there, there really is something that I need to tell you. Got it, Grieg. Can't it wait until I'm not working? Um... I suppose it can? Why is your but, hair red? Uh, you can ask Koss about that. Is uh, this part of play? Are you going to be in play? I, because if so, I could, you, I could use your help. Oh no. Could you talk to somebody for me? Maybe get them to uh, no, meet me someplace? No, absolutely not. Well, that is very nope. rude and you are anti-love. <clears throat> and now I am not going to talk to you anymore and I'm going to walk away. No, wrap up, please! <laughs> Around this time. Oh gosh. <laughs> Unless you insist, but around this time... He's gonna try to insist pretty hard! Okay. You hear bells ringing in the distance. They're very loud. Uh, to the point where everybody around you kind of stops what they're doing. Because they realize this is new. Some of the higher years look more concerned than the first years. Do Shelley and Rampart know what it is? I think Rampart knows. Can you roll me um, a history check? Damn it. Got an eight. Mm -hmm. These are the sounds of exertion and doing math. <laughs> <laughs> also, Shelly has been. Oh, yeah, I've lived here my whole here. life. That's true. Okay, advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's an 11 now. Okay. <laughs> Those bells mean lockdown. Oh, okay. Rampart looks at over at you, and Aurora similarly looks at Mistake. Oh shit. Professor Zaffi um, was probably talking to Koss about something or other. Stops mid sentence. Holy shit, Koss. What? Koss, stay back. Okay? You feel the ground kind of rumbling. 
Professor Sapphire starts walking up the bleachers here and sends an elemental, like an air elemental that's like half air, half like ice. Very pretty. He just sends it over to look over the bleachers. And is holding a hand back like, Sh everybody shut up! And the air elemental hovers there for a sec before you hear a shriek. And just... And the elemental comes running back to Sapphire. You see a claw, like, reach over the end of the bleachers here, and another. And then the head of an owl, drooling, kind of cockeyed, is looking down at everybody. It's huge. It's about the size of a bear, but with the head of an owl. Ah. Owl bear. <laughs> and Sapphire goes, <clears throat> Awesome. Get every person on this stage back. God damn it now, Cause, what are you waiting for? Uh, Monero Lucian casting a big neon sign saying, go back this way. <laughs> <laughs> Similarly, Rampart looks at Shelly and goes, Shell, this is our time. I stick with Professor, you protect students. Get every student backstage now, Shell, now! And he like stands next to Sapphire as the owlbear starts climbing over the bleachers. And eventually you hear the Earl's voice going, This is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is a lockdown. Everyone, get to safety. Get to safety at once. Thank you. Pleasure to be of service. When Koss hears this rumbling and this breaking coming from this end of the map. Otherwise known as stage right. Stage right. Mm -hmm. Coming from stage right. Thank you. Now you're going to make me sound so professional. Mm -hmm. Get the hell back out of my stage, you goddamn beast! You hear thunder as he casts Thunder Wave, and he's squaring off against this uh, owlbear as Rampart draws a longsword and is guarding Professor Zaphi's back. And around that time... And you hear students screaming as these owlbears appear on the stage. What do you do? Great. Um... I think what Koss will do um, in response, seeing that there are some students who are like right there mm -hmm. in the path of the Alabears, Koss will yell out as loudly as they can, THIS IS AN ILLUSION! And then creates a, the image of like a bunch of spikes just jutting out from the ground in front of the Alabears. If you don't do anything, the Alabears are gonna break through the illusion and go for the students. Uh, they're just gonna walk through the spikes? They're gonna walk through the spikes. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, uh, they give no shits. They give no shits, and now they're gonna attack the students. Gr Griff is Griff is pretty conflicted. You're conflicted, and you see an owl bear slashing at a student and throwing them against the stage. So rebarbs, reroll that, please. Mm -hmm. They throw them harder. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and this, you see a student just like skittering over the garden here, like knocked unconscious, bloodied. Damn it! Someone do something! Back! Back, beast! Get so what harder. I would like to do oh, is bears to... walking through. So, so, so what I would like to do is roll initiative, basically. <laughs> okay, I know what he said. I'm gonna attack I, yet, I, so I'm, I'm just going I mean, through. Well, I was assuming you were kind of like going in order. I'm pretty sure yeah, this is a combat like... scenario <laughs> at this point. Griff, you have now witnessed this owlbear slashing a student, sending that student hurling across the grass there. You remember Thorin's voice in your head, plaguing you, saying, All oh, life is precious. Was your life in danger? Were the other people's lives in danger? And he's getting more and more frustrated. And he's going to go in for a grapple on the owl bear. Oh, oh that's, that's brave. Yeah. That is very brave. Okay. And he's going to run. That's Shut a 17 noise. plus 3, it's a 20. Yeah, you pass. So Woo! you all uh, witness Griff just running up and fucking choke holding this owl bear. Oh man, that's badass. Shelly, what do you do? Yeah, Shelly's gonna go up to the other one. Owl bear hug. <laughs> and I am also gonna grapple it. Just because oh, I see Griff yeah. grapple and I'm like, this is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Wait, 20. That's beautiful. <laughs> right. Is it also a choke hold or do you do something different? I'm gonna just like lay on it. <laughs> you hear one more screech. Oh my god. Same Great. Stage right? Yeah. Gary, you're next. Alright. Uh Griff, watch your head! 
and he'll create three magic stones and then throw one. If you miss it, might hit crit. Nah. He just, he just like. I, I just told him to watch his head. I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's a 19. Nice. That hits. Uh, the elders are next, so they're gonna try to break that grapple from both of you. 13. 10. Griff, uh, yours tries to get out, but you are much too strong for it, and you're just holding tight as hell. You, however, the owlbear just like lifts up, and you're just sitting on it, and you just roll and topple off the ground, as it will still be able to do one claw attack at whoever's nearest, so he's going for just that random student, and he's that going to just... The one you're sharing your tile with? The one, yeah, the one you're sharing your tile with. This student gets, gets sent against All the right. bleacher, and he just hears that fight. God damn it, guys! I'm just supposed to be the fucking F squad! Kick some ass! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, this last guy shows up. Mistake, you're next. So I'm gonna scooch so I can see the owlbear that just knocked Shelly off, and I'm gonna fire against that owlbear. Not super. I think that's 15. That hits. 15 hits, yay! You hear it shrieking. I'm gonna say that as you hit it with the bow, it like also kind of jumps up and you're able to notice that uh, on its shoulder, he is smeared with this black oily substance. Of course he is. Koss, you're next. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on this owlbear right here. So that'll be a wisdom saving throw, please. Four. Not one. Okay. It's going to take a total of 16 psychic damage. This guy? Yes. Yeah. And it must use its reaction to move as far away from me as it can. And that provokes an opportunity attack from Shelly. <laughs> it just, it hears, what does it hear? What if we learned about owlbears and their psyche? <laughs> That's In true, because we did study them from Professor Lang. You did. An owlbear's main weakness is also its greatest strength, its ferocity. Because owlbears are so bad-tempered, they stop at nothing to kill a target. It's not difficult to trick an owlbear into hurling itself off the cliff. So I think what it hears is the sound of a bigger, tougher owlbear behind it. Oh. Shelly's currently just holding their jade. Yeah. So they're just gonna strike it with the jade. But the question is, will they take my stats? <gasps> All right, only if it hits. Um, a 16? That hits. You, like, hit him in the back of the head as it turns around. Now roll me a d6. Uh, that's a 2. That's a 2? So that's dexterity. Now roll a d6 again. It's a 6. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Did you steal <laughs> 6 points of dex from you? Yep. Great. <laughs> So, because Kaz did this and it turned around and it started walking away, you hit it with the jade stone and it starts glowing... Magenta. Magenta. You feel yourself get weaker as this owlbear suddenly takes steps that are way too fast for it. You just made it speed up. All the students are heading backstage. Okay, Griff, you're up again. You are still grappling an owlbear. If I'm just holding him, then I'm going to use my other hand to... Cast poison spray. <laughs> 18. Well, fine. <laughs> you also notice that uh, this black oily substance is smeared on the owlbear and it's probably getting on your clothes. All What's right. What's it doing to my clothes? It's smearing it. Shelly, you're next. Shelly is going to pursue this guy and once again <laughs> it's just try and form a barrier, but this time Shelly's going to put the stone in the rag, <laughs> away, in their shell. And then Shelly's going to, this time with an empty hand, just punch it in the face. Okay, <laughs> unarmed attack. What'd you say? You can try to shove. Oh, can I do that? Try and like, shove him down. As an attack, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that'll be a 21. That hits. You shove them off the edge of the amphitheater and you see them hurling down to like the grass. And because you're off the map, you see what is happening. It's a stampede. Oh. The bells are ringing and you see students like climbing up to higher ground. So you see this at all, this, this kind of very graphic scene as uh, professors are literally killing owlbears back and forth. Are you doing anything else on your turn? 
Um, I'm gonna shout down, do I recognize any of the professors? Your uh, slam poetry professors there, your Lorehold professors are there, yep. I'm gonna go, Professor Blackstone, what the fuck should we do? <sighs> Get in their head, darling. Get in their goddamn head. <laughs> and he's like, whispering all sorts of mean shit at the elevator. <laughs> and they're all just like, ah. <laughs> just like... <laughs> All right, Gary, you're up. All right. Gary has left some soap on the stage for the, the bathtub <laughs> scene. And he slips a little bit. And one of the potions that he just like keeps at his side falls, knocks over in this direction. And everybody needs to make a deck saving throw. Oh no. Including Griff. <laughs> so two owl bears and Griff. Yep, yep. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Yeah, you are. Yes! <laughs> a six and a seven. Nineteen. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so Griff manages to get out of the way of this. Oh shit! Griff, watch out! <laughs> just he just turns his head. And this stream of Tasha's caustic brew goes out from where Gary has slipped and splashes onto these two owl bears that are in this line. You hear them shrieking with pain as this is, I'm assuming, acid? Yeah, it's acid. Yeah. But, Accidental acid. But, you know, even though the pain is there and, and they're demonstrating it, they are not currently mentally capable of knowing how to get rid of this. They are kind of- <gasps> Poor babies! They are kind of on a rampage, uh, and they even looking at them, they kind of are mindless. One of them is literally just going to uh, turn around and attack Griff while the other one charges right at Gary. Yeah. So, does an 18 hit? You take 14 points of damage, I'm sorry. As it just claws you in the face and it leaves a mark across your cheek. And it goes for the other claw. Sorry, is it higher? Can you re-roll? Yeah, we'll see. 17. Yes. You all see Griff downed. The other one is going for Gary. Same thing, it literally claws you twice. So one of them's a 15. Like to hit? Yeah. Yeah. The other one's a 25. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not dead. Okay, I'm goodness. just God. down. Oh, okay. This time, the owlbear starts fighting back and you see Rampart falling over with uh, some blood and then just stands right back up uh, as Zaphi continues to fire at the other owlbear. Mistake, you're up. <laughs> I have zero healing abilities, so I can do fuck all for everyone who's down. You right all now. do have a potion. Yeah, That's true. <laughs> but that means like you two can't actively use it, but somebody can give one to you yeah. from your pockets. How wise are owl bears? Do we know this? So if you want to do a history check, I can allow it as a bonus action to figure out anything and anything that can help you. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Gary. <laughs> um, I like how you're not sorry about Griff. I'm just sorry, Gary. Griff. Yeah. And Gary. Yeah, I mean, I, I have what? 18 health total. Like, yeah. any of these things attacks me, I'm fucked. Maybe. They might not hit. I have 14 AC. They're gonna hit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that that's a nat 20. Hey! hey. Uh, I Is that of, your history check? I kind of wish it was the attack. Uh, I mean, but it was your history check, It was right? the history okay. check, yes. Okay, Mistake gets a flashback from fucking everything that Professor Lang, who everyone hates, taught you in class. Remember your training. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, you remember what Cost remembered. Uh, Owl Bear's greatest weakness is its ferocity. You can tempt it, taunt it, it can reroute its direction very easily. You also remember that they love honey. They hate loud noises and they do have a weakness. Uh, their skin is so thick, it's like very, a very thick hide, but under the armpit, their skin is very soft. Do I have any idea about how wise they are? Yeah, they're about a plus one wins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I am going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Yes! <laughs> Love that spell. Yeah. I'm rolling great today, you guys. I don't know about y'all. Yeah. Yeah. No, I rolled it's, the 17. It's only, yeah, it's only 12. So. Congratulations. Thanks. Alex. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I try. Cuss. Okay. 
So Koss is going to try Dissonant Whispers again on the one that just downed Griff. Okay. It sure. is a wisdom saving throw. Please do poorly. 17. Ah, okay. The students are next, so they're going to continue running. Can this be Ricard? No, it can't be Ricard. It's fine. No, Ricard's here. <laughs> he just hasn't here. spoken yet. Ricard's somewhere. <laughs> he's cowering under one of the... Uh, no, he's not even cowering. He's being a real he's, Rick He's just right standing. Yeah, in the air. Air. No, he, he fell asleep you know in the police or somewhere. He's still somewhere <laughs> just like... Wait, wait, guys. He's up He's up in Gary's contraption. Like, just like... Just, just dangling around. over yeah, his yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd love to help. I'm Ricard. <laughs> Griff, roll me a death saving throw. I will. Oh, we got to at least make it to the gala this year. That's a nine. It's a fail. Shelly. Well, on the way, Shelly's gonna be saying, You ugly fucking bitch, you piece of fucking shit! Because that's what the professor said to do. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly's not gonna go into rage yet. Okay. Because Shelly sees their, their friend on the ground and on the way is going to tap them and say, don't fucking die, Griff. I'm going to slip my feuding potion down your throat <laughs> and then cast Healing Word on Gary. Oh, oh. oh, wow, okay. I'm just like, my friends are not dying today. Oh, there's right. still a fucking owlbear here. <laughs> um, I do have to roll. Yeah, you wake right. up and yeah. the owlbear's still right in front of you. <laughs> okay. Gary, you're up. Fuck. <laughs> just stay down. Just play that. Right? Gary just lies there and pretends he's still dead. <laughs> but he uncorks a little potion, which again goes, fuck him. <laughs> uh, and he's kind of just holding it. Ooh, ooh, like as the potion goes, fuck him, the Albert just goes, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hold healing word in case somebody else is downed. The, the owl. owl bears need to take their poison damage. Yes, they do. Thank you. So now, owl bear sees Shelly. Makes sense. And it starts slashing at you. So how do you dodge his attacks? Or do you just take it and you're just like, fuck you? They just go straight in the shield, yeah. The other owl bear literally jumps over Gary and charges towards Mistake as fuck. the closest person that is near them and goes for the two claw attacks. Yeah, one of the claw attacks, you're able to like roll out of the way, very swashbuckly, but the moment you land, it just like <laughs> claws you again. Uh, and you are quite bloody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd now, say so. Oh, yes. come on, blue sapphire. No, okay. The owl bear continues to draw these two back. Rampart is at this point down. Come on, Rampart. Does Rampart count as downed? For your healing word? Oh, yes! So that would you activate that. <laughs> Terrible to one. Rampart gets back four hit points. As Rampart is down, he literally feels himself come back to life and looks over at you like, I love you. Got it, Greg? <laughs> I, I don't know. He has this sort of special armor thing that lets him know what affected him magically. <laughs> His <laughs> armor does that! I don't know. Well, the presence of Garth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he wakes up, Garth. <laughs> All right, mistake. I'm going to disengage from this motherfucker. <laughs> going to try and get the one that Shelly's attacking down. Shortbow. Shortbow. Mistake's not getting anywhere near these fuckers. Mm -hmm. That's a nat 20. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. As it's raising its hand to claw at Shelly again, Mistake sort of kneels down and fires directly in the armpit, sort of closing one eye as blood dribbles down. And this thing shrieks so loudly that saliva just sprays all over Shelly's face. <laughs> and you take 40 damage. No, 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 no. <laughs> Koss, you're up. Koss? Sorry. Koss is going to look at this owlbear in the center of the stage and just feel a sense of indignance come over them and they will just say to the owlbear, You! I have slept six hours in the last three days trying to get this play on the road and you will not take this away from me! <laughs> <laughs> and cast vicious mockery. <laughs> get the hell off of my stage! The students are next, but they're safe backstage. 
So they start using all of Gary's contraptions, including the lights to shine them in the owlbears' faces, loud noises, as many as they can make. Yeah, they get all of the band instruments, Aurora is there, just like <laughs> hammering on a fucking bass drum, as well as like, uh, what, what else would that be like? Rope and stuff. So from now there on, there was a thing uh, he specifically created to make steam, so that uh, perfect. Yeah, could they look. like blow the steam literally right in the direction of the owlbear. So from now on, all of the owlbears are gonna roll for disadvantage thanks to the other students. Yay! Griff, they're finally being Griff, you're up. More you, you than guys saved them, stuff. so they're gonna help you, Griff. What if I like cast shadow over his head behind him? You yeah, it. you blow up the stage a little, but for cause. Yeah, don't that's... you fucking <laughs> do it, do it. And now it's a group like, I'm oh, sorry, man. All I know is big magic. <laughs> He's gonna look at the owl bear and just go like finger guns through the legs. You cast shatter, and this thing literally falls and starts twitching on the ground in front of Shelly, and you think it's dead for a moment, and then it just. <gasps> raises its head. It's not giving up just yet, but it's very close to. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, you're up. Oh yeah, Shelly's gonna use a bonus action to start raging. Yay! Yay! It's like, why won't you fucking die? And then their arm's gonna shoot into their shell and pop out with a war yes! face. <laughs> yep, okay, it's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gary, you're up. I will just stand up and throw a magic stone. David and Goliath style? Let's do this. Yeah. 18 to hit. That will hit. Sweet. <laughs> you just chip off a tooth off of this owlbear because it's growling and it's got its mouth open. The owlbears are next, so they take their, their poison damage. The one in front of Shelly. How does this look? Oh. oh. It's like about to hit Shelly in the face and suddenly... I think that this poison has like slowly been burning away the Ooh. fur of this owl bear, which I feel really bad about, honestly, because they, you know, they didn't choose this. And so at this point, like it had made its way down to the skin and it keeps going and now it's just hit the heart. And so Ooh. the owl bear just drops. All right. Second owl bear. I'm conflicted here, but he's going to. I did just yell insults at it. It's literally going to top off the stage and lounge at you with its mm -hmm. claws ready to go. Bring now, up. I did say both of these were with disadvantage because of the students. Uh, 12? 12 is my AC. That's your AC? Yep. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That is a 12. No, wait. Yeah, 12 again. Okay, I think I'm down, but. <laughs> Two points away from instant death. <gasps> Shut the fuck up. What? The Albert jumped off the stage and down costs very quickly. Mistake, you're up. I don't suppose I can attack the remaining owl bear with a short bow without moving. <laughs> Unless you want to hit Gary. <laughs> Gary is directly between us. Uh, I might just try. Just sort of tell Gary to duck. <laughs> <laughs> I know you just I know you just got up. If you could just not be standing directly in my way. I, 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 I'll try. Mm, 15. Shut your hey. hey! The students continue to uh, root for you guys and Griff, you are up. Yeah, so I'm gonna use chromatic orb with my ring. So let's Oh, up. you're gonna pick up your ring again. As I have misty stepped, I like come back and the ring is like on. Can this be you toss the ring and then misty step into it? Oh. So, would you make me roll for that? I'll take <laughs> no. it for free. No, that's a cool that's a cool ass move. Fuck yeah. You rip and tear the ring, you throw the ring. And then I look I look at Shelly and I go, more finger guns, but this time both. <laughs> <laughs> and shoot him in the back of the head with chromatic orb. Okay. Hit, hit, hit. Nice. Team, that nice. hits. You hear some of its bones cracking and like it's limping now, but it's still trying to hang in there, barely. Shelly. So Shelly's gonna, in their rage, just charge towards the other bear. It has enough movement to land on top of it. So depending on what happens, it's gonna be on top of it. But they're charging with their war hammer. Okay. Was a 22 hit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping for the nat 20, which would I have gotten it? <laughs> no. So, so it's 11 points of damage. Also, nice. how does this happen? Yes. So 
yeah, Shelly just charges towards uh, towards the fucking owl and just like, you fucking ugly? Wait, that's what I said to the last one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dumb owl. <laughs> and then charges down with their war hammer, like jumps on top of it and beneath them just plunges the war hammer into it with one hand. And um, then with the other hand comes down with their with their shield and like tries to pierce it in half. I'll barely miss you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Death by bad pun. Shell, that was badass. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shelly's raging, so they look up at Rampart and are just like, What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> Drops longsword. <laughs> Easy, Shell. <laughs> Koss. Koss is still unconscious. <laughs> oh, Shelly, Shelly's gonna, Shelly's gonna Koss, reach right Koss. down next to them and go, Don't fucking die! Koss, wake up! <sighs> you, Burning Hammer, you know the tunnels? Yeah. Get these guys through the tunnels back to your tower. Stand. Please. You heard the man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the players are in the stages. Busted. Rampart! I have something important to confess! <laughs> right now! Right now, Grig? And Jerry no, tunnels! <laughs> takes his elixir of transformation, <laughs> but uses it basically like disguise self to make himself look like Garth at the worst fucking moment. <laughs> he picks up the flowers from his armor, looks at them, looks at you. Garthson? That wasn't a real name. Um, we should talk after tunnels. And he drops the flowers <laughs> where they are. You heard him. Through tunnels. The last thing you see is a bat flying into the stage. And since you're all heading to backstage, you will even see Aurora and you hear her say, Uncle Julian? And Uncle Julian appears right next to Professor Zaphi at the top of the rose stage. And that's the last thing you see. Do you stay to listen or do you just go about your way? I think we're. Shelly was going to jump off the cliff and start fighting. Yeah? Yeah. I would allow that. Yeah, Shelly, Shelly says, fuck that, when he says go to the tunnels. And before anything else happens, Shelly's like, I'm fighting, and just rages off the cliff. Fuck yes. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, Mistake looks to Aurora to see if she wants to stay and listen. Oh, yeah. So if Aurora wants to stay, Mistake will stay with her. Griff is going to take the students. I was gonna go with them. The other students. And Gary. What's Rampart doing? Rampart's going with them. Yeah, so he'll go. Okay. Mistake. Aurora will kind of like shh, put a hand over her lips and just motion you over to kind of sneak around the side of the stage to try and eavesdrop. Are you not listening? We need you. We need as many teachers as we can in the Witherbloom campus now. Now, goddammit, now. Julian, we have bigger problems to worry about. Look, look, look around you! I understand that this is not the real threat. This, Zaphi, is the distraction. With a bloom swamp. Now, I can't. I can't. I'm going down there. And that's when Shell jumps off the edge. Fucking turtle. <laughs> I'm going down there, Julian. I don't care what you say. And Julian just stays there by himself and goes, Well, no one listens. Do you do anything? Uh, going to defer to Aurora because it's her family, but if it was her family, she'd go anyways. In that case, you witness Aurora running out of the side of the stage and yelling, Uncle Julian, I'll come. Just, just let me help. And Julian looks around like, Aurora, what? You need to get to safety immediately. Get back to your tower. And then she just kind of looks a little defeated and he goes, 
This is not for students. I need to find teachers. There's got to be someone out there who can help me. Uh, Mystic walks up next to Aurora and says, Have you gone to Lawhold campus yet? Why? So there are at least two professors there who are generally on board with weird things. Mirsha and Quintoris, huh? It's a start. Aurora, get your friend backstage, get through the tunnels, get back to the tower immediately. This is not for you. We will handle this. And then he turns into a bat and flies away. He never lets me help. I don't see why not. You're pretty helpful. But having been on the receiving end of the distraction, Damn it, you're right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll paint a picture in blue tones, looking outside of my window to the spot you used to stand. When you said we could be more than friends, I did want to believe you now I get get what the words could be meant and I'm jealous knowing you need someone else it's hard to become a can't that yes that's an actual quirk cause when I said Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again this week. This episode was recorded in Watertown, Massachusetts, also known as the traditional land of the Pekoset and Nanantan peoples. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of the talented musicians that helped bring this podcast to life with their amazing music. We've provided a link to their web pages in the description. I would also like to thank our talented players, Tyler Rubin, Emilio Markopoulos, Rin Garnett, Michael Yang, and Nikki Aguilar Thompson. This story would not be the same without their wonderful creativity. I've been your host and DM, Alex Aguilar Thompson, and I hope to see you here again next week for another episode of Roleplay Radio.